going to show you that Catholic idol worship is in fact devil worship. It's sacrificing the devils. And an important thing to mention is that Catholic idols are cursed objects. And bringing Catholic idols, or any idol of any false god, into your home will bring God's judgment upon your home. The Catholic marriage statute, all this other stuff, it's cursed. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 25 to 26. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be cursed, be a cursed thing like it, but thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. So if you have a Catholic idol in your home, like a marriage statue, you got to burn it. Like in Acts 19.19, they brought their curious arts together with witchcraft, basically, and they burned them. The proper way to dispose of these, these cursed objects like Catholic idols is to burn them. So, obviously it's clear that the Catholic idols are cursed. I'm going to show you some verses where God, the Word of God links idol worship with devil worship. It links it together. Idol worship and devil worship go hand in hand. And Roman Catholicism is in fact devil worship. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 16 to 17. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. With the abominations provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed unto devils, not to God, to gods of whom, to gods whom they knew not, and to gods, to new gods that came up newly, came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. So they're sacrificing devils as a result of idol worship. Same thing what the Catholics do today when they burn incense to the Queen of Heaven. Uh, the only mention of the Queen of Heaven in the Bible is in Jeremiah chapter 44 and Jeremiah chapter 7, and it's mentioning a pagan Babylonian goddess. So, Roman Catholics worship a pagan Babylonian goddess. Not going to get too much into that. It's a whole other subject of how the Mary of Roman Catholicism is a pagan Babylonian goddess. But you see there, so they're sacrificing the false gods. It's devil worship. Psalms 106, 36 to 30, sorry, Psalms 106, 36 to 37. Kind of a tongue twister there. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them, yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. So again, when they're serving idols, they're getting into devil worship. No different from what the Catholics do today. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 19 to 21. What say I then, that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. So it's blatantly, when these Catholics are burning incense, and again, any false religion, whether it be Islam with their um, uh, black pagan Arabic cube over in the Middle East, or their pagan moon god Allah, or you got the Hindus, or whatever, you know, Judaism with its, with its wailing wall, um, it's devil worship, this, these Catholic idols, and again, any false religion, devil worship. Revelation chapter 9, verse 20. And the rest of the men, which were not killed by, this, by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils, and idols of gold, and silver, and brass, and stone, and of wood, which neither can see, nor hear, nor walk. So it's funny, well not funny, it's tragic, but even after, you know, it, it is funny in kind of an ironic sense, which basically even as they're being judged, there's like by these locusts who come out of the bottomless pit, they're still not repenting of their idol worship, which is again linked with devil worship. Just wanted to point that out. Obviously, it's not funny as in like haha funny. It's funny as in it's ironic and just weird too. But Catholic idols are cursed objects, obviously, and Catholic idols, uh, sacrificing the Catholic idols is devil worship. Well, again, Roman Catholicism is pagan idolatry. Roman Catholicism is pagan uh, idol worship. It's devil worship. It's witchcraft. It is not. The faith once delivered unto the saints, it is pagan Roman religion that is 
basically uh, what happened was the Roman Empire, the pagan Roman Empire, uh, became a religious empire. It basically merged from being a political empire to now being a religious empire. That's why it's called the Roman Catholic Church, because it's Romanism. It's pagan Roman religion masquerading as Christianity. They took pagan Roman practices and just basically just Christianized them. That's why you have Christmas, which is a Catholic holiday. Christmas is not biblical at all. Christmas is completely pagan. It was you know, the Christmas trees, obviously decorating a tree, you know, the Bible condemns over and over again, I, I could go off about this quite a lot, but the Bible condemns over and over again, basically bringing a tree, putting idols under a tree, you know, it's paganism, and the Catholic Church took that from pagan, Germanic, and Norse, and Roman religion, and Christianized it to evangelize to the pagans, basically to convert them out of, out of uh, Germanic paganism and towards Roman Catholic paganism, basically. But it's pagan Roman religion, and their idols are devil worship. And again, it, it merged from a political empire to not being a religious empire. I'm not going to go off too much about that. But Roman Catholicism is devil worship, and it is a false religion, just like um, when it, just, just like it's uh, creation Islam. You know, Roman Catholicism created Islam, which is funny because Islam is essentially just Arabic, uh, pagan Arabic religion, pagan Arabian religion. Uh, mixed in with some New Te Old Testament stuff and New Testament too. I could go off about that for a little while, but don't want to get off the point. Roman Catholicism is satanic. It is devil worship. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.